Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel, Lynette here and today I am going on a 30 day juice fast. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, it's a day, it's a 30 day of consecration. It, um, the reason why I'm doing it is both spiritual and uh, health reasons. I've never did a fast of this sort. Matter of fact, I don't even think I've done even a week fast of any sort. So um, I just want to do it. You know, I just want to experience that. I want to rid my body of all the toxins that are in there. Uh, spiritually, I'm going to be fasting and praying. I'm going to be getting closer um, to the Most High Almighty. Um, I just want to kind of cleanse, you know, go on this kind of cleansing journey since I'm doing all this other health stuff just to see, um, get to my optimal health, really. I'm, I really feel good now, but I just want to see how I feel after 30 days and pray for me that I make it. <laughs> anyway, my husband and I, were doing this fast together. And so I've been just, buying a lot of fruits and I got some kale. I'm going to show you everything I've got. And um, I'm going to be making them up every day. I still have my Irish moss. Um, I'm going to add some nutrients to it. It is, I've liquefied it. So I made it into a, you know, liquid also. And hopefully that'll give me the minerals I need so that I don't pass out midway. So y'all pray for me. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to take you with me on this journey every so uh, videos or so. Um, we're going to talk about it and um, and let you see my progress. And so, yeah, I'm uh, right now I'm going to show you all the vegetables and fruits. Well, it's only one vegetable kale, but all the other fruits that I bought in order to do my fast for um, this week. But then next week, of course, I'm, of course I may add other fruits and um vegetables i don't i don't know if i'm gonna do too many vegetables but i guess i can because i can do cucumber i never thought about that i could juice cucumbers and a lot of other things so yeah i can do other fruits and vegetables um with this so yeah i'm gonna take you with me anyway here we go i'm gonna show you what i brought for uh today okay these are all the things that i bought to put in my juice, um, bought to juice, I bought mangoes. Um, I'm gonna put mangoes in. Of course I bought some pomegranate juice and I made sure it didn't have sugar in it. And um, we bought apples, so we're gonna put these and I like these, these are the, I forgot what kind, but they're kind of sweet, sour. The pink lady, they're pink lady, that's what they were. And so they're a little bit of sour sweet, so that it kind of give me a little lemon type zest. I mean, I can always put some lemon in there too, but they're sweet. The mangoes are super sweet. That's going to give me my sweetness. And uh, of course the apples and the pomegranate, I'm going to probably only put maybe um, a half a bottle in. And I have my blueberries that I'm going to put in my juice. I'm going to juice some blueberries. I'm gonna juice, of course, some strawberries. And to get my iron and potassium, I'm gonna definitely do some kale so I don't pass out <laughs> midway through the month. So, and then also, I'm going to add my 100% organic um, coconut water. And this has lots of minerals and, um, and nutrients that uh, keep you from getting dehydrated, of course, but um, has protein in there that's uh, plant protein that's really good and hydrated during the summer days. And then also, last thing, of course, my handy dandy. I still have a little bit of my Irish moss that I made um, a couple weeks back and so this is packed full of nutrients is 92 uh, out of 102 minerals that our body needs so I'm going to be putting this into my juice um, of course grind it up to where it's very really of course I'm going to grind it up in my ninja to where it's liquefied even more 
and I'm going to add these nutrients to my dinner, my dinner juice. So my dinner juice will have all this packed full of nutrients. And then also, I'm still going to take my herbs. These are all my fruits that I'm going to juice today. And today is day one. It is August the 1st. So we're going to start with this, and then I'm going to show you my juicer. Okay, and this is the juicer I'm going to be using. It's called the Juice Man 2, and it is an older version, but this juicer is so awesome. I've used it already. Um, so I'm just going to take you with me to, we're going to cut up these vegetables, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to work this, this baby. All right, we're going to start with cutting our apples. And I think I'm going to get a little paper towel to put the cores in. All right, we're just going to cut our apples. And I'm going to just set the fruit that I've already cut into another plate that I put right here. Okay, I'm all done cutting up all of the fruit and the kale, and so I'm going to show you what it looks like. See, right there, there you have all of, let's set this here so you can kind of, all right, as you can see, I put them all on a plate ready to be juice you have your mangoes we have our strawberries and around here i pulled out some um blueberries and then i pulled out about a bundle <laughs> of kale and then also my apples so i'm gonna get the machine ready set up and then we're gonna just go for it Okay, I put this bowl in front of here because my pitcher is too tall to fit underneath this spout. So we're gonna catch it here and then we'll pour it into our uh, pitcher. So, all right, the first thing we're gonna do, take this out, 
We're gonna start filling our feeder up. I'm gonna mix it with the mango and kale. So the kale will kind of juice right along with the mango. I'm just gonna add some pieces of mango. I don't know if you can see that. This gets you a little bit higher. Okay, I've already put some kale and some mangoes in there. All right, we're just gonna start feeding our mangoes into here. We're gonna turn the machine and let it go. All right, now the strawberries. want to show you the rainbow of colors in this bowl. I don't know if that's a pretty sight or not, but I do know it's going to taste good. I'm going to mix all this up. I'm going to add my pomegranate. I'm going to add my coconut water so I can get all the nutrients that I can pack into this juicing make my own little brand of uh, naked. Okay, I have my pitcher right here. And so we're just going to put the juice into the pitcher and I'm going to combine them all. And then I'm going to add my Irish moss to my mix for tonight. And that's going to be my dinner. All right, putting in all of the juice that we got from there. All those beautiful colors of green, yellow, and purple. We'll see how that tastes. All right, now I'm going to put in my coconut water. I think I'm gonna put two of these because I'm gonna make one for my husband and one for me. We're both doing it together. And then I'm gonna put mine back into this for tomorrow. And then I'm going to add another coconut. I mean, I go, I think I will add this whole one. I thought at first I'm going to just add half, but let's go ahead and go in. I don't know because I want to, I don't want to get it too full. I want to add my, I want to empty out my other coconut container because I usually put them back in this container and cool them. Um, so I can just take this to work with me tomorrow. And this is easy because I have a little cooler that I put it in and I have my little ice uh, not my ice, but the ice uh, packs that I put in my cooler. And I keep this all day. I just sip on it all day and then I have my water. So let me go get another. All my nutrients in there. I was able to put everything in there to stir it up and see how it looks. Oh, that's pretty good. That's how we're looking. Looks good to me. Now I'm going to add my Irish moss. I'm gonna grind it up. I'm gonna just go in on that Irish moss. I have to make some more pretty soon here. In my fact, I'll start doing that today. Making more. Just like so. Then I'm gonna put this top on there. I'm 
This in here. See how that looks? Nice and frothy. Mm -hmm. And it's cold too. Because my strawberries and my blueberries were frozen. Perfect. Filled up the whole container. All right, so we're going to see how it tastes. Every time I make it, it tastes a little bit different. So let's see. Hmm. I can taste the mangoes. I can taste the apples the most, the mangoes. Let's see. There's a little kind of like a sour taste from the apples and it's very sweet. So I don't need to add any agave or anything else to it. It is delicious. I'm going to drink this up. I'm going to relax. Um, if I feel like I get hungry a little bit later on, I may just make another small one, but I don't think so because, um, like I said, today was my first day and I did make one earlier and it kept me, it held me all the day long. The whole coconut uh, container full was enough for me for breakfast and lunch. I felt fed. Of course, the kale gave me the nutrients that I needed. And like I said, the Irish moss is going to give me my iron and everything else and coconut does have proteins in it so way to go day one we'll see how i'm looking about you know a week or so we'll see how i'm feeling so i'll see you anyway thank you for watching my video remember to like share and subscribe remember you're beautiful and i love you bye